It's a mostly cloudy sky at 2 o'clock here on a Monday in Billings. Hi, everyone. Bob McGuire here in the Q2 Weather Center. But take a look out towards the west. You can see the Beartooth Mountains there. The sun is shining out there. There's a big hole in the cloud cover right now. But back here in Billings, it's 53, cloudy. We have a southwest wind at 10 miles per hour. And here's the story. It's kind of windy across much of Montana today. We have a lake wind advisory for around Fort Peck. Winds there gusting to 35 miles per hour. We have dangerous crosswinds by Big Timber on Interstate 90. There the winds are gusting to 65 miles per hour. Also Gusty crosswinds across uh, the Cody foothills. Winds there gusting to 70 miles per hour. We have a high wind warning in that region as well. So here's what's happening. As you can see in the Doppler radar, we have a new system starting to make its way into the western part of the state. That next storm is producing rain and snow showers around much of west central Montana. But the big story for us is not that. It's a cold front that's dropping down from Canada. And it will continue to nosedive all the way down to Texas. What we're looking at is a shot of cold air moving in here overnight. And not only that, as that moisture moves in, it's going to bring some rain showers in here by 6 o'clock. We're looking at rain showers across most of south central Montana, much of Yellowstone County, including Billings. Then later tonight, about two o'clock, that rain changes over to snow showers. Then that kicks out of the way. Uh, then your next batch of moisture starts moving in around 10 o'clock, but I don't think it's going to make it to the Billings area. Probably just look for dry skies then. Temperatures going to nosedive down into the 20s at 5 a.m. in the morning, back up to 41 degrees about two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at KTVQ.com.